Hey friends, Calvin here, and this is my Halloween How About a Game Of, a Friday the 13th. As I said in a previous video, we are going to kick Jason's ass, and this game is absolute crap. I'm talking about this game is very, very difficult. Talk about to the old Jesus H. Christ difficult, but for those uninitiated, for the few two or three people that, that don't know what this game is, who is, you know, a gamer with their salt, these are the six counselors defeating Jason, who is the popular, uh, dude, the popular, you know, killer from Friday the 13th. And these are your killers. Now you can ch choose any one of these when you want. I made sure the counselors are very well prepared. You look fun. Now. Now, what we're doing here is gonna kill Jason off. And we wait around, get a lighter and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not gonna explain the game very much to you guys. It's just simple. This game has, its track is boring as hell. Ooh, there it is. Give me that. But anyway, the lighters light up the fireplaces. You're supposed to light them all up. Right now, I'm using Laura. Now, Jason's not in here. The idea of it is uh, to find stuff. Oops. Now, this is the main uh, doohickey right here. Woo! We lit it. Now, uh, we leave. And pretty much we do it for the whole thing. Now, the idea of it is, is uh, here's the council's life bar. And these are the big houses. You go around the map. It's the, how you travel is very weird in this game. You grab each of these, you light the torches, and you wait for Jason to deal with stuff as he pops up. Like that. Now we go save the children. Oh, actually, he's attacking the counselor. Conveniently, he's right here. He's attacking uh, Debbie. Come on out. Oh, here he is. Come on, Joker. Come on. Ugh. This game is getting incredibly difficult. Now, get a knife. Now, we go in here. Oh, those are the vitamins right up there, and they heal the they heal you or the counselor or whatever. There it is. I need the key though. Whoops! <laughs> I got to go get the key. Be right back. And that's where Jason's mother is though. I I played this game pretty much all you know all the way through, and God is at a pain in the ass, and it's long. It's not just not just long. It is real long. So what I'm doing, folks, is kind of helping my counselors out a little bit for this Halloween treat special. There we go. Now, I don't know what the fireplace represents in this game. I just don't know. I think it keeps Jason away, but I'm not sure. Okay, now we got one more place to visit. No, no one's here. Whoops, sorry about that. Now he's attacking the kid. Now, there's different type of weapons. Oh, there's a key right here. Give that. I won't worry about the kids, though. I'm not worried about the kids. At this current moment. Not, not in the god daggum least. Just trust me, I'm not worried about it. Because we're trying to finish the game, folks. There it is. Now, you can get the uh, torch and everything else early in the game. If you know what you're doing. But me, personally... Now, what we do is we run around here and go save the children. But me, personally, not yet, I'm gonna go save the kids. Not quite. My first order of business is get the, uh... torches lit. Oh, there it is. Huh, this, one, this one is actually lit. Aha! Come on. Get out of here. Can I... Did I mention this game is very hard? I 
as you've probably figured out, I've made myself pretty much, you know, uh, counselor-tastic, so I'm not caring too much about anything. By the way, there's unlimited kids, too. Just let you know that. That's the reason I'm not too concerned about the kids. There's all the, uh, the counselors went and made a whole bunch of them. Grr. We ignore the... Okay, okay, that tells you where the torch is. We're gonna go there in just a second. The object is, is to get the torch and kill Jason as fast as humanly possible. We want his, we want his ass dead. We just don't want him dead dead. We want him really dead. Cause you gotta kill him like three times. Okay, now we're gonna okay, cave near the detail. Now you notice, now, no, now for our particular little run through, we're ignoring it. Ordinarily, if you're playing the game normally, you don't ignore that. Because Jason's everywhere. He just pops up anywhere he wants to go, and it's just a pain in the ass to deal with. <laughs> the first Friday the 13th movie was really good. Of course, I'm not a really big into the, um... Of course, me, myself, personally, I'm not a big horror fan, but, you know, Jason's one of those movies where it's like, yeah, that's actually decent. See, it's, the controls are kind of screwy. <laughs> don't worry, friends, don't worry about the kids, they're fine. Ordinarily, they wouldn't be, but, uh... But this is me playing. I'm just that cool. It might repel him, who knows, but Jason hates fire. I don't know why, but in this game, he does. Whoa. I saw that. Is it gonna reappear? It is indeed. By the lake, okay. Notice, kids are fine. Now, is there another council here? There is indeed. Now, what we're gonna do is go pass. You give that counselor a weapon, and she goes back to the rock. You're passing your knife on to him. Now, we're gonna go into the cabin by the lake. No, not this one. Be the next row. Okay, one of the counselors are being attacked, which is conveniently by the damn lake. So... Well, time stops when we're inside the cabin, so let's go search these cabins really quick. Now, the counselors do croak, so you have to be very careful. We're looking for the torch. Not that torch. Come on. Be ready to find it. We'll go ahead and deal with dumbass, and then we'll search every cabin by the lake. Now, the game is pretty, pretty generous with the knives. But, see what I mean? Now that counselor has knives, and well, now she does. You're just passing on, passing on the savings of goodness to her. Okay, what we're gonna do here is. Whoops! Pass on the good savings since this counselor needs it. And in case they need it anymore, we'll just call upon them. And they'll have knives. Come on out, dumbass. Me and you have some business. Oh, here he is, he's got a machete. Ordinarily you would dodge or duck or something, but, uh, I'm not bothering. As I said, I'm prepared for this. Because, you know, it's either this way or safe state it. I mean, seriously, folks. That, that's how incredibly difficult this game is. Now, that, ca that cabin over there was not the one, so it has to be that one up there. Come on, give the girl another knife. Now, remember, my power only goes for the, that, that the counselor I am currently controlling. Now, now, this is the cabin we want to look at. I haven't been in here, and we want to search every nook and cranny of it.
mostly because it says it's a cabin by the lake. Right there. That's what we want, right there. Jason is a dead man now. Now that we have the torch, we can trade that in for a pitchfork. Whoops, sorry about that. Now, what we want to do is go to the cave. If, if he attacks the kids, I'm not going to bother with it. We're going to go straight to the cave. We need to pass this torch on to someone else, though. I think there's more by the cave. Trust me. Okay, he's attacking one of the people. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, we're hitting the right one. Oh, missed. But th actually, this is the most powerful weapon for Jason, except for the pitchfork, which is coming up in just a bit. So I have to constantly throw to the map. Now, I'm going to keep the torch for the moment. Because I'm dealing with Skippy, but I'm going to leave it behind with Debbie. Because I'm going to get the axe with her. I'm going to get an axe with her and stuff like that. It's a weaker weapon, but the idea of it is, is pass on the savings to someone else. Because, you know, we need to pass on the savings. Notice the fire just ripping his energy apart. Hey, Laura is going to go back to uh, Stone. And we're going to give Debbie the torch. The reason is, is because we're getting something else and we're passing the saving along to everybody else. Okay. We're going to go this way. Just like this. Because we want all the other counselors armed with something. And if he get, because if Stupid Man decides to go um, visit her, he, she will kick his ass. Because she happens to have the torch. What I'm doing... Aha! Uh -huh. I already know where I know I know what they're talking about, and I can be there in a snap. Okay, you gotta, you gotta. I can't remember which all ones I did already, so you know, go forgive me. I'm gonna do this whole way through. Okay, here we go. This track is incredibly, incredibly dull. Now here's the door for Jason's mother. Now, ordinarily you would face you wouldn't face her, but you can face her on every on every day, and you get different items. Now she hands you a machete, I think, this time. Ordinarily you would dodge or something like that, but I don't need to. This takes a lot of shots with us to rocks. But the point being is, is uh, we can st we can stay in one place and just throw. Some people feel this is you know unfair, but this game is unfair. I'm thinking about this game is really hard. When we get the machete, we'll be able to uh, pass that along to someone else. Notice the sound of music does not change. This is kind of eerie. Having to fight a floating head of Jason's mother? Jesus. There it is. That is called Le Machete. Now you can fight her every day. Now, sometimes you may... F I found an... I, on one of my run-throughs, I actually found an axe. Which is very interesting. Okay. Nobody. Let's go. I think Mark is in one of these. Hold on. I think he's in this one over here. I did go in here, didn't I? Let's find out. Come on. Oh, well, yep, man in here. Behold, folks, nothing else changes. Love this 8-bit eight, eight bitter music, huh? Yeah, the idea of it is, is pass on the coolness to everybody else. Change out. No, we don't want to change characters, we just want to change weapons. There. Now, if a knife appears or something like that, we can, uh... Because sometimes the game has an unusual habit of trying to make you swap your weapon. That is a pain, pain, pain. Oops. Okay. Now we'll give it to Debbie, I think. Okay, 
let's go. Because I feel like swapping gears. Is that a problem? Now, this time, we want to go deal with Jason and the kids. Because, well, we got the mother freaking torch, and now she has a lighter. We don't have a key yet, but she don't need it. Look at there, though. <laughs> we don't need to kill anything, but it's fine. Sometimes this game is incredibly unfair. Now let's go burn them alive here, folks. Coming out wherever you are, dumbass. I'm gonna burn you. Oh, he's got an axe! Stay tuned, folks. It's gonna get good. This Lord Comet saying, stay tuned.